Hey everybody, it's Drake, good luck Ready for another great adventure? Today, Nassau, Bahamas. Yes, another cruise port, very built up for cruisers. And we're gonna go over some things, some do's and don'ts, uh, what I found about going to Nassau. So come on, let's go. Refreshing. First in Nassau is a place called Paradise Island. It's a very big facility, it's been very built up. And from the cruise ship, you can get there by taking a cab. Uh, it's about $4, go over a bridge, and you'll get over to Paradise Island. They have a huge hotel. It's split up into four categories as far as for the hotel. They have plenty of things to do. Water park, golf, of course the beach, uh, some paths and trails to walk around on. Very, very interesting. Now, in recent years, they have, as Paradise Island, has gotten a little bit of competition from another place called Bahamar. They've built their own water park and they have their hotel. They both have casinos and the casinos will probably remind you, if you're used to going to Vegas, will remind you of the MGM style casino. Um, of course, aquarium uh, to see the fish, sharks, stingrays, this is at Baja Mar. And so they're really in competition with each other. Baja Mar is a little bit farther away from port and you'll have to go down a bay road. Baby Flamenco! There's also a very pretty destination called Blue Lagoon Island. Now, if you're considering going to Blue Lagoon Island, I would suggest that you make arrangements through the ship for the excursion on this one. You have to get on a boat, have to go out and travel. I would hate for you to miss the ship coming back. So that would be key. 
on Blue Lagoon Island. Nicer beaches. Blue Lagoon Island is home to dolphin encounters. They also have sea lions. I'm starving. Arawak K is locally known as fish fry. There are numerous restaurants set up that serve fried fish, conch, seafood to your liking. The most famous one of these is Twin Brothers. Now, if Twin Brothers is closed, there's also a place called Goldie's. Now, I haven't heard of any bad restaurants in this area because this place is well known for this and caters to tourists, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. Another unique place is Ardastra Gardens. It has a zoo, gardens, flamingos. It's a conservation center, and so they really want to keep the area clean and pristine. There's Clifton Heritage National Park. Again, a park to go around and see and do things. If you have a lot of time, in the Bahamas, you might want to check this out, or this might be on your pass list because there's so many other things to see. A third really cool place around Port is actually Nassau downtown itself. There are a lot of art galleries, shopping. There is a pirate museum. A straw market. Which is very unique. The Queen Stairs.
Raycliffe Chocolatier. For anybody who smokes cigars, yes. The same people who make Raycliffe cigars have a chocolate shop and have a nice restaurant. That hit the spot. I need coffee. John Watling's Distillery. Again, being on the islands, very big into rum. A long time later. Party time. Downtown and Bay Street. Yes. Because the Bahamas are strategically located, and certainly Nassau, in order to be very close to the new world of America, the British have forts that are set up around these islands. It was a British colony. You can check out these forts and they're really neat. One of the more famous beaches and unique is Jaws Beach. This beach was used in the movie Jaws. And I think that might be kind of cool just to say, hey, I went to Jaws Beach, take a little picture. They don't have the big shark, the mechanical kind of stuff, no. But it's nice to see in the setting of, of what they used. I think it's pretty cool.
there's Pirate Republic Craft Beer. So if you want to settle in and enjoy a brew, not a problem. I need a cold, cold beer. When you're first exiting the port, you are going to go through a big yellow building. They have bathrooms, there's the clock tower. And in there, if you're thinking about going through downtown, are maps that you can pick up that will show you areas and directions. Do over. If you go through the building, there's a huge display of maps. No. If you do want to swim with stingrays, that's available as well. It's called Stingray City. For most people visiting the Bahamas, they would stay around port. Certainly for Atlantis and the water park or going down to Baja. There are a lot of things to do. Some of the beaches in the Bahamas are not as well groomed. They aren't as pristine as other beaches of other parts and other places. That's just a consideration. There are better places to snorkel than the Bahamas, and there certainly are better beaches. The beaches around Port, eh. Look, you get what you pay for. They're free. You can rent out the umbrellas and the 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 lounge chairs and obviously there's alcohol available but they aren't at the prettiest beaches that's terrible parliament square Luca Kairi, which is a restaurant that is world renowned. That's way cheap. I'd buy that for a dollar. One thing about the Bahamas and Nassau is Bay Street, which is the main thoroughfare. If you go south of Bay Street at night, please be very, very careful. There are nightclubs on Nassau. You'll have Aura Nightclub, which is like a James Bondy kind of nightclub. You don't have to get super dressed up, but that's the kind of vibe to it. There's also a nightclub called Bamboo. And that's a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back. Depending on time of year, some spring breakers come down to the Bahamas as well. So keep that in mind. If you enjoy this channel, Please remember to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you're informed about every time that we post a new video. We'd love to see you and have a wonderful day. Thanks for your support. Frozen Daiquiri. I need tacos. Bye.